Hey guys, this is Arvind and you are watching Learn with Arvind. In this video, we will be discussing on half range series, half range sines and half range cosines. If the given function is defined in the limit, is defined in the interval 0, l and if you are asked to find half range sines and cosine, then we assume, then we assume that uh, function f of x is even, either even or odd in the interval minus l, l. Uh, we are just assuming that f of x is even or odd half range cosine series which means the interval ranges between 0 to l to get cosine series that is to get half range cosine series we assume function f of x is even function in the interval minus l comma l 4 year cosine series would look like this f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n pi x by l a n is given by 2 by l integral minus l 2 plus l f of x cos n pi x by l dx if the function f of x is in the range of 0 comma pi it's not l this time it's pi then the Fourier series then the half range Fourier cosine series is given by a naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x now the constant a n is equal to 2 by pi integral minus pi 2 plus pi f of x cos n x dx a naught is equal to 2 uh, sorry about this it's a mistake it's not uh, minus l to l it's 0 to l it ranges between 0 to l and 0 to pi uh, sorry about this uh, a naught is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x dx the same way a naught is equal to 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x dx in the range of 0 to l now half range sine series it is given by in the interval of 0 to l just like the cosine series to get sine series to get half range sine series we assume the function f of x is odd it's a odd function we assume that is a odd function in 0 comma l f of x is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sine n pi x by l dx now b n is given by 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x sin n pi x by l dx to get sin series we assume f of x is odd function in the range of minus pi to plus pi the given function ranges between 0 and pi but we are assuming f of x is odd function in the range of minus pi to pi it's uh, minus l to l in the above case now the Fourier series is given by f of x is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity bn sin n, nx dx in the same way bn is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x sin nx dx this is an example for a half range sine series here we are given a function f of x is equal to k in the range of 0 to 2 since we are asked to expand this in half range sine series uh, we know that f of x is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n pi x by l dx now we will be finding the constant b n b n is equal to 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x sin n pi x by l dx now substituting the value of l 2 by 2 integral 0 to 2 f of x is given by k and sin n pi x by l l is given by uh, 2 n to dx now 2 and 2 would get cancelled since k is a constant we will be taking it out of the integral so k into integral 0 to 2 sin n pi x by 2 dx we know that integration of sin n pi x by 2 into dx is equal to cos n pi x by 2 the whole divided by we should be differentiating n pi x by 2 with respect to x so we will be getting n pi by 2 we will write this answer k into 2 by n pi and we are uh, writing the, the answer minus cos n pi x by 2 in the range of 0 to 2 now applying the limits this would become 2k by n pi minus cos n pi uh, value of x is 2 2 by 2 plus cos n pi of 0 2 2 would get cancelled minus cos n pi 
sorry since we knew cos 0 is equal to 1 substituting that now we know the value of bn so we will be substituting this in the above equation f of x is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to infinity this is a bn by substituting this value this will become a 2k by n pi uh, interchanging 1 minus cos n pi this is the half range sine series expansion now we will be seeing half range cosine series in this we will be expanding the function f of x is equal to e power x in the interval 0 to 1 since we are asked to expand this in half range cosine the formula for this is f of x is equal to n naught by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity n cos n pi x by l let's mark this as equation 1 n naught is given by 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x dx now substituting the value of f of x we will be getting 2 by uh, now the value of l 2 by 1 integral 0 to 1 e power x dx we know that integral of e power x is equal to e power x so we will be getting 2 into integrating e power x now applying the limits 2 into e minus e power 0 e power 0 is equal to 1 so a naught is equal to 2 into e minus 1 now a n is equal to 2 by l integral 0 to l f of x cos n pi x by l dx now substituting the value of f of x and l the formula for e power x into cos that is integral of e power x and cos n pi x is given by integral e power a x cos n x if we integrate it we will be getting e power a x divided by n squared plus 1 into n sin n x plus cos n x now applying this formula we will be getting 2 into e power x divided by here n is n pi the term before x is what we mean by n and it is n pi so it is n square pi square plus 1 into n pi sin n pi plus cos n pi x in the limit 0 to 1 now applying the limit we will be getting this since e power 0 is equal to 1 it is 1 by n square pi square plus 1 since there is x near to the sine and cosine so the entire term would become 0 now using the distributive property it would become e times n pi sin n pi plus e times cos n pi minus 1 by n square pi square plus 1 since sin n pi is equal to 0 this would get cancelled and we are left with 2 by n square pi square plus 1 and cos n pi is minus 1 power n times e minus 1 we are taking 1 by n square pi square plus 1 as common this is a what a n is now substituting the value of a naught a n in the place of 1 now we will be getting f of x is equal to 2 into e minus 1 divided by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity 2 by n square pi square plus 1 minus 1 power n into e minus 1 times cos n pi x by 1 this is the half range cosine series or the function f of x is equal to e power x See you in the next video guys.